Phuket Extra is brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort. Chill in the sun, sip under the stars. Saudi Krap and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort Phuket. I'm JP Mastanza and happy holidays. Here's the news you need to know. Police are charging the driver of the visa run van that crashed in Pangna earlier this week that killed three people and sent seven others to the hospital. Prawit Rawiwat is being charged with reckless driving causing death and injury, which comes with a 150,000 Thai baht fine. He was taking 10 passengers to Satun on a visa run on Wednesday morning when they crashed into a house in Pangna province, killing two French nationals and a Filipino woman. One person remains in the ICU unit at Pangna Hospital, while several others are being treated at Vashira Phuket Hospital. The Phuket-based KPV visa run company is set to pay for all of the medical expenses for the passengers. More updates as they come. And with the emergence of online photos showing Patong Beach with sun loungers propped up by sand, the mayor of Patong is admitting that she's powerless in removing them. The sand sun loungers are about 60 centimeters above the ground with the mattress on top. Patong Mayor Chandler Mlakepsap told the Phuket News that the sand sun loungers are built within the legal 10% beach zone where vendors can sell their wares and services and she's powerless in kicking them out. But operators at Patong Beach say they're mostly for elderly and disabled tourists who find it more comfortable. Sun loungers, beach chairs, and umbrellas were previously banned from beaches all over Phuket because of issues with unsightliness. And although officials did not allow vendors to come back, they did allow them to come back in certain 10% zones at each different beach. And with the new trend among Thai teens abusing the opiate-containing painkiller Tramadol, the Narcotics Control Board is set to enforce more restrictions on its sale. Pharmacies will be restricted from selling more than 10 Tramadol pills to any customer at any one time. According to officials, Thai teens have been abusing this strong painkiller used primarily for chronic pain, and they're mixing it into sodas, coffee, or even alcoholic cocktails. And Phuket Extra will be right back, so don't go anywhere. Safe Fertility Center Phuket is the international fertility and women's health clinic. We offer diagnosis and treatment of infertility, IVF, ICSI, pregnancy, reproductive system disease, and cancer. Get into wakeboarding with Wild Wing, based at Royal Phuket Marina. Wakeboarding, wake surfing, and even kneeboarding. Here's a full range of packages for everyone. Wild-wake.com. And welcome back to Phuket Extra. Police finally have a name to go with the diver who was found dead with his throat slashed in the waters off Pattaya last week. 52-year-old U.S. citizen Frank Thomas was found dead tied to a mooring post near Kolarn during a holiday when he was harpooning fish in the sea. Police are now looking for his Thai wife who was not with him on holiday as the investigation continues. And it was one costly nap in the streets of Kampang Pet as a bus driver fell asleep at the wheel and he was driving droves of students back to Bangkok and the results are not good. 44 students were sent to the hospital for a variety of injuries and luckily none were serious. The students were on their way back from a camp in Chiang Mai when the driver fell asleep and the bus hit a souvenir shop, overturned and ended up on its side. Police are still mulling over the charges. And this little guy is a leopard cat, and he's back in the wild thanks to wildlife officials after a, a harrowing dog attack. The leopard cat was released near the Bang Pai waterfall in central Phuket earlier this week following an attack by a dog at Panason Katu village back on November 30th when a motorist found it by the side of the road. The feline has been at Phuket's wildlife rescue shelter ever since, being treated for its injuries and he's now strong enough to survive on its own in the wild. And that's it for today's Phuket Extra. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, we'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Drive safe out there, and don't forget to check out Phuket Extra Extra tomorrow, where we'll take a look at the top five stories of the week. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. <laughs>